Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 493. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook 490 to 493. Hey, and this trick here, someone asked, hey, I have some uh, names and I need to repeat them seven times. What is a fast way to do that? Uh, the fastest way, I would just um, control C, come over here and control V, keep the field name and then control C, Control down arrow, down arrow, control V. Control down arrow, down arrow, control V. Control down arrow, down arrow, control V. So I'm controlling down arrow to jump to the bottom and then down arrow to get to the new cell and control V. Now I've already lost count. Uh, but I'm just going to copy them seven times. Actually, uh, let's see, how do I tell how many there are now? I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always dangerous to do it by uh, uh, hand. I'm going to, since I lost count, I'm going to count if this whole range here, F4, comma, this one, and just hopefully that will give me seven. Okay. But eyeing it, see, when you have Excel count for you, I counted seven of these, right? And that was the first one. So th that means that we got seven pasted it seven times but uh, having the count if do it you're it's programmed uh, ones and zeros it doesn't have fallible eyes like we do so I believe that better but now all you do is right click sort and this is what the person that asked this said they wanted to see all of the individual names next to each other seven times alright so that's um, how I do that um, here's a silly thing I just got to thinking uh, it's not really directly related to the, to the <coughs> question of how to group them se seven at a time like that. But what if uh, you wanted a formula that could repeat from a list of names? If you put three here, you want three repeats. If you wanted five, you'd have five repeats. And then you could have this range of values here and have a formula that would only show you know, that, that number of, of uh, people. Well, how about um, index? But before we do index, notice there's 11 people. I counted those over here. F2, I used count a uh, to count the, the words. Count a uh, actually counts non-blank cells. Uh, so there's 11. So really, what we need, if we have an index which would look values up, we'd want like the number 1 to 11 and then back to 1 to 11. Well, that's incrementing uh, a number in a formula. So how about we use the mod function? Mod function gives us a remainder. And we want the remainder of what? rows. Actually, before we do that, let's just do rows. And I'll show you how that works, and then we'll do it, put it inside of uh, the mod. Rows, I'm sitting in D2, so I'm going to type uh, D dollar sign 2. That locks that one, D2. OK, that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, brrr, uh, down. Oh, but see, that doesn't give us the, an incrementing 1 to 11, and then back to 1 right there. Uh, what happens if we subtract 1 from this? Minus. I'm sorry, uh, minus 1. We get 0. OK, well, that's that looks OK. Let's try that inside of mod. So we're going to get, um, as we go down, we'll get 0 to 10, and then 11, 12, etc. The mod function will give us the remainder. So what do we do? We actually say divide it by, and I can't get to that. 11 right there, so I'm going to click there. F2, and I'm going to lock that. Okay, so right now it's going to give us uh, 0 divided by 11, and then 1 divided by 11, 2 divided by 11. Control Enter, and double click and send it down. Ah, so now we have a string of 0 to 10, and then back 0 to 10, etc. So now we just add 1. And that's the conceptual trick to this, to getting index to uh, retrieve uh, 1 to 11. And then back after it gets the last value in the list, then it will go back up to 1. So now I'm going to hit uh, F2 here and type index. And the values we want to look up are here. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it, comma. That's the row number, so it's got some uh, an, a range of values. And then that's the row number that will increment and cycle through 1 to 11. Control Enter. Actually, I want to do this not there. I want to do it over here. 
equals control V. Now, the problem with this right here, if I copy this down, I could copy it down a bunch, right? But oh, now I have all, and uh, now I have it listed too many times. Ah, so we want to turn off the formula. When this formula, when we copy it down, when it gets past a certain row, we want to show a blank. Well, the certain row will be 5, the number of times to repeat, times 11. So we're going to say if rows, and uh, I could just copy this little piece right here. If rows is, that's the, this is the logical test for if, if rows are less than, let's do uh, greater than, and we want our number of times, uh, times the number in the list, so I need E2, hit the F4 key because that needs to be locked, times. Notice I'm clicking there and using my down arrow. I'm such a bad typer. I always have little tricks like that. Most people can type it faster than me, and of course, they're already done with the formula. All right, so now, when the number of rows gets bigger than 5 times 11, 55, then um, what do we want? Uh, we want a blank to show. And otherwise, if it's still less than or equal to, then we want our index. Control-Enter. Double click and send it down. Okay, so you can see now it stopped right when it got past the uh, 55th one. Now, if I change this to one, it lists it one. If I change it to two, it lists two, three, it lists three. Okay, so that was kind of silly, uh, but um, I don't know, silly is kind of fun sometimes in Excel. All right, uh, if you just want to do the quick and dirty way, <laughs> copy, paste, sort. Uh, if you want to play around and waste some time with the formula, then there you go. All right, we'll uh, see you next trick.